So I had my Uber driver. Now, which kind of Uber ride would you like? One where we talk or one where we awkwardly stare at each other? So, on my way to San Diego, California, I'll be here nine days, I have a layover here in Atlanta, literally a 10 minute layover, I'm trying to book it to my gate. I'm going to visit a church in San Diego, so pray for me, but now I'm trying to rush to this gate. JK, my gate is into the terminal, and Atlanta airport is massive, so my flight board's in like 10 minutes running to get to it. Terminal B, right here. We're swinging the left. All right, let's hope I make it. So we made it, boarding the flight. San Diego next, let's go. San Diego, gonna get my baggage. I am starving, haven't eaten anything all day, but I wanted to talk to you guys about how I got started using Ableton Live or DAWs in general. So my sophomore year at Indiana Bible College, my friend, Tyler Reed, gave me Reason. And it's another DAW, but I used it to create drum loops. That's like all I did was just create drum loops. And I started out doing that. I did that for like literally a year and a half or two years before I even got into Ableton. I probably started just making clicks and guides with Ableton and then after that it transitioned into making tracks. Let me see here. I'm just trying to find where my luggage is going to be at. I have no idea. So then after doing that, using, oh, I'm way too dark here, we need to brighten it up. There we go. Now you can kind of see me. So then for two years, so my junior year of Indiana Bible College, I started making tracks and they were terrible. Like they were absolutely horrendous. So then what I did was is that I actually got overdubbed. All the tracks that I made for my junior year of the recording, I actually, they were just completely redid. Like somebody else did them. So then it wasn't until my senior year, whenever I really kind of just, I actually, so I quit drums. I was a drummer, that's all I did. And I quit drums to focus on aux keys so I could get better at making tracks. And I did that and that really changed it all for me. And I started diving into Pro Tools which is what I used that year to create all of the tracks, backing tracks for the recording. So I did, there were 14 songs on that album, and I made the tracks for six, I think six full songs. So that was a really fun year and what really helped me to learn. But it all became about the fact that how I started was is that I saw somebody do it, and I, and I said, I saw somebody do it, and I said, no, I want to be able to do that. And I didn't want to have to rely on somebody else to be able to play so we could make the track or whatever. I wanted to be able to fully do it myself. So that was my background from coming of making tracks, learning how to make tracks. And it just so happened. And it just so happened that I learned how to use Ableton. I never look, you know, I never used logic. I just used reason, used reason, started in reason making drum loops and then it transitioned into Ableton and from Ableton into Pro Tools. So I just kept going and that's how I gained my experience 
and how I learned to make backing tracks and to make tracks in general. really cool so him and his family he's from New Zealand and they've been traveling for the last month and a half they just were in Orlando for two weeks actually and they went on a cruise um, to the Caribbean all throughout and everything so it's really cool just like the people that you meet whenever you just travel places oh my gosh you just got so dark <laughs> In and out. Let's Come on. go. <laughs> I haven't eaten all day. Yes. <laughs> Me and Renee. I'm gonna finish this burger and fries. And I'm in California. <laughs>